Shop boy. G'day legends. Here she is. It is quarter past six and this is one of the favorite parts of my day. I'm having my daughter, Scarlett, is having breakfast and I'm reading her a story. Today's story is called The Princess and the Wizard. So she's been up since about 5.30. We've done a little bit of drawing and now we're having brekkie. Is it nice? What's for brekkie? Porridge. Porridge. Uh, I haven't had brekkie yet. I still look a bit shabby, but got a big, big day today. A few meetings, uh, important meetings, and just all the little basic stuff that I work with cricket, and it's also transferable. Just a few co online coaching sessions. Quickly, I reckon you're just not engaging your front side. Technically, like it's just a bit of a slap. And some training this evening with Perth Cricket Club. Shot. So I thought I'd vlog, I haven't vlogged for a while, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've got my other daughter, Poppy, here on the monitor, just about to wake up, so... How good? So after a quick breakfast with the kids, I headed over for a breakfast meeting with Darren Holder, who's a coach education specialist. He coaches coaches and someone who's become a friend over the last few years. So it was really good to catch up with him before heading back to the Nets over at Leeming High School near where I live. So I had two sessions in the morning with two good young players, Chad and Shreyas. And as always, um, I did lots of underarms with both of them, just working on their shape, trying to get their body weight moving up and down the wicket, not falling across and getting their bat coming through in straight lines. With Chad also finished off with a bit of spin and trying to get him trusting himself, hitting some over the top. Two sessions done, 10 a.m., two good young players, 14 and 15 year old Chad and Shreyas. Um, yeah, great to be helping them on their journey. They're both hungry young cricketers and I um, just shared an important message to Shreyas about being patient. He's, he's quite small, but he's got a good foundations. He's, got, he's building a game that can stand up at the next level. And that is what I'm trying to help players do is create a game and a mindset for international cricket, for domestic and first class cricket, for professional cricket, not just for the here and now, not just to score runs on a Saturday, but he's got really good foundations, which I just said, which is gonna hold him in good stead, as does Chad. It's all about long-term for me and for us at Cricket Mentor, and we're trying to develop players to have long professional careers, not to be the best player in under 15s or under 17s or on the weekend, but how can we develop a game and a mindset and a belief system where they believe they can do it at this age, they believe they can get there. That's what I just said to Shreyas. It's part of my job is to keep helping him build his belief that it's possible, that he is good enough, even when the game is beating him down, even when the game might be saying he's not good enough, he's not getting the runs, he's not getting selected. And that happens to so many young players and they lose hope, they lose belief. But the best players that make it to the furthest, they're always believing it's possible. They're always believing in themselves. So they keep taking action to justify that belief. And Shreyas and Chad are both good young players that I'm, and all of our young players, it's trying to help them build the belief that if I keep working, I keep showing up, I keep my good habits and my behaviors and I keep positive and optimistic, anything is possible. And that goes to anyone who's watching this, a young aspiring cricketer, if you've got good people around you and you're putting in the work, you're reflecting and reviewing and you're learning and you're adapting, anything is possible, just gotta keep believing it. Out on a run, coming up to finishing 7K. Going slow, it's pretty warm. I'm battling, not, not at my fittest at the moment. Training for a marathon in October. Plenty of time, but a lot of work to do. What a view.
Just got back from another really exciting meeting. I didn't film it and I can't share any information about it yet, but all uh, really exciting. Some, some great things happening here in the background. Um, and then I had a call either side of it, um, one with a player at the under 17 national championship um, and just trying to, probably hasn't gone as well as he'd hoped, but trying to remind him that he belongs there and, and sort of just being confident and trusting himself and just enjoying it. I said to him, the three words to repeat yourself is, how good's this? How good is this? Four words or three if you abbreviate it. How good's this? And just to remind himself it's, it's, it's he's done well to get there and he's at a national carnival rather than heaping expectation and pressure onto himself. And then did the meeting and then I called his dad and had a half an hour chat, just got off the phone to his dad and reminded him, who's also putting too much pressure on himself, worrying about other people's opinions and of his son. And I just said, mate, you don't need to worry about what other people think. It's out of our control. It's not something we need to um, worry about or he needs to worry about. His son's doing an ama doing amazing things as it is. So yeah, providing mentoring for athletes and parents. Um, we've obviously just published recently a video on parenting athletes. I'm a parent myself of a four-year-old and a 19-month-old month, 19 month old, and parenting is not something we get taught or something that anyone really coaches us on and there are so many emotions involved. We love our children dearly. I love my daughters more than anything in the world and I want nothing but the best for them and, and all parents want what's best for their children and that emotion often gets in the way of us behaving the best way we can to support and guide our young athletes. And if you haven't watched that, make sure you head join the Cricket Mentoring Community. This is a good chance to plug the Cricket Mentoring Community. This is our online sort of academy community where myself and Reedy and Waldo and the, um, the Cricket Mentoring Mentors and athletes and ambassadors are spending time helping cricketers of all ages and abilities around the world, but mostly aspiring cricketers, cricketers with ambition to get better and to potentially make it as a professional cricketer or just be the best they can be, where they're helping you guys learn and develop in all six pillars of success, technical, tactical, mental, emotional, physical, and lifestyle. And we're talking a lot about what it takes to become your best. And we talk about things like mindset and emotions. But one of the things we've just published is around parenting athletes. So if you're a parent of an athlete and you're watching this video, I would highly recommend you join the Cricket Mentoring Community. Link is on the screen right now. Um, and you get a seven day free trial. So you can access all our resources. And if you think that it's not worth the value that you have to pay, if you think you're not getting the value of what you have to invest, well, you can cancel at any time. But we'd love to see you in there. And parenting athletes is such an important topic. So head over, check out that video. It's a 30 minute video where we share tips and some ideas on how parents can help support and guide their young aspiring athletes. Check it out. After finishing in the office, I headed over to Fletcher Park for Perth Cricket Club training and I really enjoy getting there every couple of weeks and working with some of the good batters at Fletcher Park. Um, this is Joel Curtis, uh, WA second 11 wicketkeeper batter. So just wanging at him and trying to challenge him from both over and around the wicket. Got some footage um, of the boys in the nets facing the bowlers on the turf decks. And then I did a bit of work with WA uh, batter Sam Fanning, just with some underarms working on him, making decisions outside off on the back foot, defending and leaving and being really decisive. Yeah, I literally just want to be any outside my eye line, yeah. and then make that decision there, and then I'm quiet enough. Oh boy! To conclude the day, I headed over Muleman's and had one final one on one before I headed home to get some dinner and end the day. Well, legends, just got home a little while ago. The wife got me doing a few jobs, had to take the bins out and do a few other little bits. It's now 8.40. I'm sitting down having some dinner, spaghetti bolognese, leftovers from last night, and a glass of water. 
and I went out of bed soon. It's been a big, busy day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and share. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I'm going to keep trying uh, doing. I'm going to keep trying to do these vlogs when I've got an interesting day, and hopefully you guys will find today interesting. And thanks again, legends. I'll see you soon. Go after it and get it done.